is a key to success that I've learned from doing these videos and that can help you in whatever your pursuit is? Well, the answer to that question can be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Back in November of 2018, I was given a challenge by my friend and mentor, Darren LaCroix. He said, Michael, I challenge you to create a video a day for 90 days, the 90 day challenge. Well, on November 19th, 2018, I did just that. I posted my first video and on the 20th, I did the same thing in the 21st and I kept going. About halfway through the challenge, I thought, you know what? I'm going to push this. I'm going to go for an entire year. Here's an important insight that I've gained from doing these videos. About a month and a half ago, I was starting to doubt whether I should keep doing these. I wasn't getting a lot of views. I kept posting them. It, it takes a lot of time to, to record these and edit them to where they're viewable without being too long. I played with that question for about a week, and then I remembered something that I don't even remember who it was said long ago. He said, it's important to create habits. And if you're going to write a blog or post articles or do videos, hopefully you'll create some benefit for the reader. But he said, do it for yourself. Do it as a reminder of what you need to be doing on a daily basis. Once I remembered that, I just made the commitment. I'm just going to keep posting these videos. I would love to have millions of views, and go viral and all that. But that's not why I do this. I do this because I've been blessed to have great mentors and coaches, and they have taught me so much and saved me years of frustrating trial and error. It's helped me as a speaker. I want to help others. My mission, which I've become very clear on since I've been doing this video, is, is to help other people, professionals, executives, sales professionals, who struggle when they have to stand up and give presentations. I know what that feels like. Back in 1994, I was an awful presenter and I got bad evaluations and it's what forced me to get into Toastmasters and eventually the National Speakers Association. I don't want people to go through the same pain that I did back then. And if I can help you shorten your learning curve, if I can help you feel more confident, become more influential, then these video tips are worth it. I believe that doing these videos is maybe a better coach, better speaker, better improv student, because I started improv in the middle of all this. I believe I'm, I'm getting better. My message to you in this video number 200 is simply this. Whatever your field of expertise, pick up a habit that you can engage in on a daily basis and just start doing it. Don't worry about number of views if it's a video or number of readers if it's a blog. Just keep doing it because you'll get better at your craft and as a byproduct, other people will benefit too. I look forward to talking with you tomorrow in video number 201 in our daily dose of public speaking wisdom.